Let's take a look at this example. From these two terms, I can factorize d naught c naught. From these two terms, I can factorize d naught c. From these two terms, I can factorize dc. From these two terms, I can factorize d c naught. So let me rewrite the problem, and I'm going to have d naught c naught, and inside of the parentheses, I'm going to have b naught a naught or b a close parentheses plus d naught c inside of the parentheses. I'm going to have b naught a or b a naught or dc inside of the parentheses I'm going to have b naught a naught or b a or d c naught and inside of the parentheses I'm going to have b naught a or b a not. As you probably recognize, this is nothing else, just exclusive nor. This is exclusive or, this is exclusive nor, and this is exclusive or. Let me rewrite this problem one more time. I'm going to have d not, c not, and I have exclusive nor. or d not c exclusive or or d c exclusive nor or d c not exclusive or Exclusive nor is the complement to exclusive or. That's why I'm going to call exclusive nor q not. Exclusive or I'm going to call q. B exclusive nor with a we called q not, so that's why this one is going to also be called q not, and this one is going to be call, called q. Let me rewrite this expression one more time. I'm going to have d naught, c naught, q naught, or d naught, c, q, or d, c, q naught, or d, c naught, q. Let's take a look what we can factorize from this expression. I have q naught and q over here. That's why I'm going to factorize q naught from these two terms. From these two terms, this one and this one, I'm going to factorize q. That's why I'm going to have q naught and inside of the parentheses I'm going to have d naught c naught or d c close parenthesis or I'm going to factorize q and inside of the parenthesis I'm going to have d naught c or d c naught. Again, this is nothing else just exclusive nor, that's why I'm going to write this down like this, q naught, d exclusive nor with c, or q and exclusive 
or D with C. Now, as you can see again, we have exclusive NOR and exclusive OR. That's why I'm going to call this time X0 and this one I'm going to call X. So my expression right now is going to look like this. Q0, X0, or Q, X. As you can see, this is nothing else just exclusive NOR. That's why I'm going to write my expression like this. Q, exclusive NOR with X. Q is equal to B exclusive or A. So instead of Q, I'm going to write B exclusive or A. Exclusive nor with X. And we said X is D exclusive or C. So instead of X, I'm going to write D exclusive or C. Remember, this was my Q and this was my X. This is the answer for the problem.